Change is inevitable, and many of life's family changes, like divorce and death, can greatly affect our finances. Financial advisor Esther Hall from Star Financial Solutions is here to talk about how we can best prepare. So Esther, welcome. Great to see you for Financial Friday. Thank you. Good to be here. Tell us about the situations that typically most impact our finances. The three major things that happen is death, divorce, and especially taking care of a loved one. Mm -hmm. um, that can really have a big effect on your finances, on your income, on your assets, on everything. And in terms of taking care of a loved one too, it seems like that would be the one that we don't typically prepare for. You know, there may be a little bit of a heads up in some of the other cases. Right. What type of preparation are you recommending? If you're, there's two major um, family members that you'd be taking care of would be a spouse or a parent sometimes a child, but mostly a spouse or a parent. And it could be because of mental acuity or because of phys physical issues. And you really need to know where their assets are and how they're being handled. And that's a, 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 um, something you should talk about way ahead of time. You should know where the assets are. You should get some statements, you, you know, and just know what they want, where they're at, you know, and know what's been set up for them, what insurance, what, you know, is there anything at a hospital or, you know, a care, you know, place where they can get t care. Kind of an awkward thing to yeah. ask, though. It's like, mm -hmm. how do you, how do you bridge that first step on, hey, so can I see how much money you have and where you keep it? Well, you know, <laughs> though, my dad tried to tell my sister and I, okay, here's where the money is, here's where the information, and we'd say, we don't want to hear this, we don't want to hear this, you're yep. not going to die. Right. Just don't tell us about it. We should have listened. Absolutely. And I went through the same thing with a loved one that passed unexpectedly. And luckily, he had the conversation with my brother because he was very young, we didn't expect it, and none of us understood his lifestyle. Mm -hmm. And so when we got the shock, my brother stepped up and said, guess what, I had a conversation. I know where everything mm -hmm. is, what we need to do, and where we have to go with this. And it's so, so important. You gave us some kind of guidelines of the things that we absolutely have to know. And I know we have a graphic that we can pull up and go over that. So certainly right. knowing what is out there is important, but you said even before that we need to have a team. What exactly does that mean? It means that you should have for yourself a financial advisor, an accountant, and an attorney that you are comfortable with, that you can go to, that maybe you've already been working with on your own things. Um, that way when something comes up you know who to call, who to pick up a phone, and it's somebody that you know you can already talk to because sometimes the people that they have you're not as comfortable with. You also, as we said, you need to know where the accounts are, where the assets are, you need to know where statements are, mm -hmm. where the important papers are. Mm -hmm. You know, can you point to that drawer where all the important papers are, not just for you, but for your parents? Mm -hmm. Right. And you need to know where that stuff is. And it, it helps if you've like actually opened it and looked also, but not <laughs> as important as if you know where, to go, know where to go. Just know where to go, yeah. Somebody, you know, if you have that relationship, they can help you yeah. with the rest. Now, what about access? Because if someone were to pass away and there were passwords and things like Correct. that, uh, you know, they're not going to let me in an account, right. are they? How no. does that work? And that's also something that you need to have in that conversation. Also, what I tell my clients is, have a book and keep it in your junk drawer with all this stuff. Have my card in it, have your attorney's card in it, have your passwords in it, have some statements in it so they know what to look for, and have that accessible where somebody's going to find it. And then you can also put in some love letters. Mm. That's a if nice If you're idea. looking for this, then <laughs> something has happened, and I just want you to know I really appreciate that you're doing this for me. I That's think, important, I and important. I know in our family we unfortunately learned the hard way that after someone had passed, uh, some of those things were not discussed, right. and trying to access bank accounts and insurance and credit cards was very, very difficult mm -hmm. after the fact. Right. When uh, my husband died, he left me that note, but he told me where I should invest, how I should invest, <laughs> how I should That is a money. love note. He wanted to wear to the funeral. Aye. <laughs> <laughs> that is control. <laughs> aye, aye, aye. And how much of that did you actually do? Everything I possibly could except the outfit. <laughs> <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> but you know, it is, it is a sign of caring, I think, mm -hmm. to make these preparations. Quickly, when we talk about caregiving, 
how do we make plans to be able to afford to care give? That's something you work on with an attorney and a financial advisor and planner and you make sure that there's assets that will be there for you or that you have somebody in place to help you through, you know, Medicare planning and, and that kind of thing because it's, it's a big step and you need to know if, if you have long-term care insurance, if you have a life insurance policy and does that life insurance policy maybe have a rider on it that'll cover those things or an annuity that might cover those things. And these are all things that this person who's going to be taking care of you or you, if you're going to be taking care of somebody else, mm -hmm. you, you really need to know. Yeah, and it's all very mind-boggling when yeah. you start to use all those phrases and words. <laughs> I know my head starts to hurt, but it is reality, <laughs> you know, as we get to the caregiving stage. So. Yeah. Good to have the right people to help, that is for sure. And you can contact Esther and also get more financial information from StarFinancialSolutions.com.